Okay guys, this is what I've come up with so far for a fairly simple mechanical feeding mechanism. And so what I have here is a kind of an O-ring spring. You'll see if as the plate moves, this is just using the tension of the O-ring so I can adjust the screw in and out to kind of tighten that. And then on the bottom there, there's there's a, a pusher. And so what happens is as, as the machine comes around, you'll see it pushes uh, the pin back. And so how that would work is you have a piece of brass in there. And when, when it gets all lined up, it drops in. focus. All right, so um, let's give it a run and see how it goes. Okay, I almost forgot. Let's have a better look at this mechanism. So we just have a standard screw with a little o-ring on there. So this one I just kind of whipped out real quick in the bench vise. You can see the marks there. I was doing a little bending, but I took a M5 screw and ground down. So it has sort of a, I'm not sure if you can see that, it has a flat sort of screwdriver profile, I guess, and a bolt on either side. This is in a slot that I can adjust the height up and down. And then at the bottom here, I have this piece pushes up against the, the inserts. So this has been smoothed out pretty well, up to 800 grit. And then I had to kind of create a little bit of a T-slot bolt here by just filing the edges of the M5 head so that I can just adjust it here. And that's pretty much it, fairly simple piece. I planted, I put another screw hole here and at the bottom of the unit, I was planning to use a spring out here, um, but ended up finding the O-ring solution worked pretty well. I might add the, the other spring just for um, kicks and see how it goes, but so far uh, the O-ring seems to be working. I've loaded up this tube all the way to the top with a 308 brass just to simulate the weight that would come off of the, the Dillon feeder. I didn't feel like hooking the Dillon up right now to do that, but I'm just gonna see how this mechanism works. So I'll go ahead and turn on the juice. like it's working pretty well. I guess the next step is to get the Dillon out and hook it up and see how she goes. Okay, I have a small batch of 308 brass. Let's give it a run and see how this thing works with the uh, Dillon case feeder.
Well, other than the case feeder itself jamming, um, that's probably just a setup. I think I set up for 300 blackout and I'm running 308. So I need to adjust the length on the case feeder on the Dillon. But other than that, I, I think the feed system seemed to work pretty well. Seems pretty reliable. Uh, I'll tweak on a little bit more and see what I come up with. Thanks for watching.